Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac, Repentance, where today we're going to take Tainted Bethany to the Lamb, maybe Delirium? Uh, yeah, maybe Delirium. Uh, we'll see what we get on that front, I suppose. Soul Locket, that's uh, probably fine. <laughs> Another book that puts us, well, for one, it puts us pretty close to Bookworm, I think, assuming that the book we start with is part of it. Uh, probably gonna go for Angel Room so we can go for Mega Satan if needed for the hope of a delirium portal because the lamb is definitely going to be the main focus of this run. And I don't know, looking forward to it. I forget what soul luck. Oh, right, it gives you stat ups for picking up soul hearts. Mmm. That's actually kind of worthwhile to keep. So if we could keep that, that would be lovely. I also need to remember to actually pick up every single red heart in the game, uh, as that is a thing with this character. And I believe if I use the Book of uh, Secrets three times, four times, then it starts opening up secret rooms as well without me having to spend bombs on it, but simultaneously we're at five bombs and perhaps I shouldn't worry so much. I don't know why I got five bombs that quickly already, but I'll take it. Very nice, a lot of money. I'm not particularly concerned about this run, it's just one of those things we still need to get out of the way. And that's exactly how I'm treating it as well. <laughs> but hopefully it's gonna be okay. There we go, speed up. Not a whole lot of speed up, but it's not insignificant, honestly. Like 0 0.6, that's like half of a regular speed up item, so it's honestly not too bad. Pretty good start so far. I don't know where I want to be using Lemmigethon, but... We'll get to that. <laughs> so many bombs, wow. Alright. Just keep giving them to me, I guess. I don't hate it. It's also nice that it specifically gave me, like, the, uh... Secret room. Uh, mapping the first use of the Book of Secrets. That's just very nice, because it certainly... It makes it a little bit easier to find. Admittedly, on this floor, it wasn't too difficult, but... Still, any little bit helps at the end of the day. So either way, I'm grateful. What do we got over here? Pills are here. Friends till the end, okay. Speed up, sure. Balls of steel and balls of steel again. <laughs> All right, this is, uh, this is gonna be one of those runs, I suppose. I'll happily take it. It's just a little surprising. I'm gonna touch this. And yeah, that's Bookworm. <laughs> that's Bookworm on Basement 1. Very cool. Very nice. This is the kind of run that I need to feel confident about myself. And so far, things are looking good. Free key, very nice. Things are working out. There's Monstro, but it's Monstro twice, which I'm not super happy with, because he shoots a lot of tears, and I'm a little concerned about my little flame there. But hopefully we can make it work. I'm focusing one down for now. Ah, oh, god, the uh, monster is being a jerk. I need him to stay away from me. There we go. One of them's down. I'd love to just keep the soul locket forever, but it's so tricky. But it would be so good, for sure. If we could manage. Bread. Cool. A lot of health, a lot of hearts. I'm gonna use the book once here. Conehead. Alright. I was kinda hoping for tier 8. I think that was kinda the main thing I was hoping to get out of that. But honestly, as far as first floors go... I'd say we were pretty lucky. <laughs> uh, we got so much health. We got a s bunch of speed ups. We got good pills in our pill pool. And honestly, what else could you possibly need? So, yeah, things are looking pretty good. There is an eternal heart there, which is not too bad. We got full mapping thanks to our, or, well, map for <laughs> using the Book of Secrets there so we can more easily find our secret room. I have a hunch where it could be, judging from the layout of this floor. I might be wrong, though. Nothing's guaranteed until it opens, of course, but there is a, a pretty decent chance it's in between those two spots. 
given that I have three bombs and one key. I'm a little tempted to try and go through the secret room into my item room. But at the same time, I want to make sure I have at least one bomb for angel rooms as well. Because I'd like to get those angel statues destroyed. Bomb. Probably wouldn't have hurt to at least try to move that somewhere, but it, it was a pretty big room, so it... I don't think that would have worked out great. So let's just not worry about things too much. Very good. Range and luck. Not quite the stats I was hoping for, but still it's something. It's a weird amount of luck to be getting. Mostly I'm just happy to get health, I suppose. I'm not really too bothered about the whole thing. Either way. The downside of doing Mega Satan with this character is that all your flames are going to go away more often than not. But hopefully we can... Work around that. Yeah, I really kind of just want to bomb into everything right now. Hmm. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. I'd rather avoid it if I can. I don't need to go into my shop, I guess, but... Uh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is Tainted Bethany. You do get worse items with this character from your item rooms and such, so it makes sense that we're not getting especially good things. I have said, said in the past, like, I wonder if that's actually a mechanic, but it is. It, it absolutely is a mechanic where you just get worse items, but you get the book instead. So we use that here immediately. We got tears up. Very nice. But we're just going to try to play this as damageless as possible. If we can at least destroy the lamb, then I'm going to be happy regardless. But if we could do delirium, that would be a load off my mind for sure. Let's take that. More tier 8, the better. I'm going to hope we're going to find a bomb on the next floor. Or here. That would have been good too, but... Alas. Um... I don't know. I'm tempted to, to get some money, actually, but I don't know if I should. The car battery, though, with... That's that's too good to pass up, unfortunately. I got Conehead protection there, and I got it again. All right. <laughs> that, that works for me. Just... Wow. All right. Yeah. Conehead. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good when it works. Also, we now know where our ultra secret room is, which doesn't help us that much, but quite frankly, that was ridiculous luck from Conehead right there, so I will happily take that. Wow. <laughs> but also, uh, for Book of Secrets. Now it means that I only have to use it twice, and then we have the I can see forever effect on basically every floor, so... That's pretty good. That is pretty damn good. Assuming it doesn't give you the same effect twice sometimes because uh, the way you use the item. But we're going to find out. We're going to find out. For now, we're just going to move on. No worries. I think uh, if we don't get the delirium in, that, in this run, I guess it's also not the end of the world. Yeah, look at that. We got map and compass right there. Like, it wouldn't be the end of the world because it would be kind of nice to have... Um, What's it called? Oh, I don't like this. Uh, it would be nice to have Polaroid for the Delirium fight, since the extra protection you get from that is just that good. So that would be preferable for sure. This is nasty for my flames, actually. Yep. We lost something. We didn't lose the Soul Locker. We lost Conehead, I think, which is uh, really unfortunate, actually. But yeah, it, for, for Polaroid for sure. Definitely don't hate. Uh, this is good. Uh, <laughs> there went our tier 8. These bots are the worst. All these enemies are just running straight towards me. It's not great. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what ends up happening here, I suppose. For now, let's just try to get our angel room chances up. If we can get Delirium, it would be nice. But if not, you know, fair enough. It's okay. I'm a little bit less concerned about angel statues, at least, just because with I Can See Forever, uh, you don't need as many bombs. You don't need to blow up as much stuff, since the secret rooms and things will just open for you anyway. So, feeling good about that. 
I mean, in the later floor, it was pretty much gonna happen regardless. There went my flame. <laughs> because, quite frankly, I don't know how to dodge this without losing these flames uh, in this little space with so many tears flying at me, so that's unfortunate. We will get two items from the book every time we use uh, the book as well, so that's really good. So now we got Humbling Bundle and... I Is that Sad Bombs? I'm not 100% sure, but it might be. It's an unhappy looking bomb, that much is for sure. But I'm not sure if they're sad. <laughs> it's a weird place I've gotten myself into in terms of emotions, but we'll figure it out if we ever place a bomb with this flame still alive, I suppose. There we are. So I'm assuming secret rooms just open now. And indeed they do. And that's a whole bunch of bombs, so no worries whatsoever. And indeed it's sad bombs, judging from that right there. So all in all, things are just working out swimmingly. I'm gonna just move this to the mushrooms because I'm always a little hopeful that we're gonna get something good. Plus our pill pool is amazing. Very nice. Free tier 8 is always appreciated. It's a boss room item. So that just limits the pool a little bit in terms of what we can get. Might make life a little bit easier. And uh, yeah, just really nice. Really good. Humbling Bundle might give us some extra consumables as well. It probably got us some extra bombs in the secret room right there. Not sure if it works that way, but I'm pretty sure just any bombs you haven't seen before have a chance to be duplicate and similar with like coins and other things, so... Gonna assume that's why it worked. We don't have a key. <laughs> we have zero keys. Okay. Cool. And not a great curse room either. Nice that it was next to the secret room at least, but... Still a little disappointed. But keeping Humbling Bundle is rather important for our consumables. It will certainly make things a lot easier. Well, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I would have been okay had I gone left immediately there, but I just wasn't ready for this room. I'm not sure. It's one of the ones you don't see that often, I feel. So that's on me. Not sure if I want to use the book right now, given the amount of room still available. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Little chest and shade? Well, sure. <laughs> I guess. I guess that is uh, an item. I guess we can use the flame to deal some damage. It's not necessarily a bad item. It doesn't make my build worse, so there, there is that, I guess. <laughs> Looking at it excessively positively right now. At least it's not terrible. Little chest giving us something at least. Uh, this is gonna be a problem. Yep, that hit the humbling bundle perfectly. I was kind of trying to hit him with shade there, but it's just not that much room there. You can only keep these things so safe in a room where you can barely move yourself. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, we did lose the soul locket somewhere along the line already, so that's a shame, but that's okay. Finally a key. We got a pill. That's a little tempting. But not a whole lot. 48 hour energy. Okay. That's a... Our pill pool is amazing. <laughs> it's actually ludicrously good. I love it. We have destroyed a shopkeeper, so we don't need to worry about that. I don't know why I'm not taking this. Um, there might be a key in here as well, so I'm actually just gonna play around with that a little bit. There's a bomb in there at least. One bomb for the price of... Well, two. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to push it, and then I didn't push it. It was a mess, but whatever. We we got a coin and a heart and stuff out of it, so it's not all bad. It's it's okay. It's not bad. It's a quality three item, which I surprised by, admittedly, <laughs> given the character that we are and technically we're supposed to get worse items, but with bookworm especially, like this is actually pretty decent damage. So I think I'll just go with that and hope for the best. It's an item that I don't know how I feel about it. I really don't know. It's not bad. 
If you hit with it, it's very good. That much for sure. You do need to actually hit with it, and that's that's where the trouble lies. <laughs> Occasionally hitting can be a little tricky, but look at this damage per shot. It's basically just a safe Ipica, kinda. Like damage-wise, it's probably a little worse, but still, it's not bad. I just walked into that. Um Which I guess isn't too bad. <laughs> wow, sad bombs just murdered this boss. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright. Take that. Uh lemon. I'm green now. Fair. <laughs> Not sure why I'm green. But sure, I am green now. Uh do that. Slipped rib and goat head. Interesting. Duality and something else. Candy heart, worm friend, and who knows what other kind of stuff we got out of that. Is that... Rubber tears. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to run into the flame just for the shades, but I really shouldn't bother, I feel. That gave me enough red hearts for one more use of the book. Gave me the relic as well. Yeah, this is looking all right. There is our super secret room. And as per usual, also we have goat head, so I guess I can just do this. Restock. I have duality twice. <laughs> one on the outside and one on the inside. I got halo, I got electricity uh, stuff around me. If we can keep these flames alive somehow, then we are not in bad shape right now. I'm gonna check out the challenge room, because I kind of just forgot about it. My tier rate's not great, admittedly. Wouldn't mind a little bit more of that. But other than that, we're pretty much good here. Worm friend is occasionally gonna block things. I am dropping creep with sometimes. I'm not sure <laughs> something's making creep happen and i'm green so i'm really not 100 percent sure what's happening there uh it might be like i forget what the item's called it's the one where you well, it's the one where you drop creep underneath your shots i guess uh mystery fluid <laughs> mysterious liquid i don't know chemical something not peel but another one, it's, it's an item. It exists, it's causing creep to happen. It's probably dealing more damage. So, good enough for me. I'm gonna use this book one more time, <laughs> and then we are just gonna go to the next floor. As long as I use it in the angel room, it has decent odds of giving me items that are uh, from this pool. Not guaranteed, but it'll do. Tier rate went up from that a little bit. We got the mind. Which should give us full mapping on this next floor, which I think means we get the I can see forever effect immediately upon using this Book of Shadows. And indeed it works. Balls of Steel, unidentified and unidentified. Worf. Shot, Shot speed, speed down, down, fair. Yeah, and we are causing that to happen. That, was, that might be why we're green, because we are now creating like the gas that just kills everything, so that's good. Peeper, not too terrible if you have car battery, but I think I'm just going to stick to the Book of Secrets. Uh, yeah, and it's going to be really tricky to keep these flames alive <laughs> for a long period of time, I'm afraid, but we're just going to do our best here. We, we just have too many flames to even consider. Tears up, nice. Yeah, we got too many flames to really be too worried about it because it's it's just gonna go away at some point that's it's pretty much a given that's a bunch of money but for the sake of killing the lamb i think we're in a good place in, in terms of making hush in time we're at 17 minutes caves two <laughs> so uh it's unlikely i'm gonna say we could use the sacrifice room to simply teleport to uh to the lamb as well, but then we'd have to do Satan at some point separate. Plus we don't have uh, the key pieces yet anyway. Well, we'd get the key pieces from the sacrifice room as well, I guess. But it's not an ideal plan. Just gonna see what the super secret room has to offer before moving on. Very cool. Finally, this secret room actually pays off. It is kinda rare. <laughs> 
it very frequently shows up for soul heart exclusive characters and then there's just not much you can do but fortunately this character is happy with every consumable in the game that is greed so we have uh, come across the fairy at some point to tell us there is a tinted rock there which is nice at least I think it's a tinted rock. I'm not 100% sure. Yep. We can't pick up the soul hearts because we're too healthy, but we might be able to play with the uh, machine for a bit. Upside down hierophant. That's bone hearts, isn't it? Yeah. I don't care too much. With characters like this, I just. Bone hearts just don't do that much, unfortunately. We could really play the sacrifice room for a while here, actually. Uh, I am just gonna do the boss real quick because we got Goathead for now anyway. Oh, that's good. I that didn't go the way I wanted it to, but fine. It's all good. I'll take that. We get Hanged Man. We still have the Goat Head, so that's nice. Guardian Angel. Mm. Prayer card is good with car battery because it's just a health, every, like a heart every time you use it. Yeah, that might actually just be better than what I currently have. So we're just going to go for that. Once again, the sad bombs dealing with most of our trouble, and the worm friend is holding the angel in place. <laughs> Very nice. Very good. Just keep doing that. That is entirely okay with me, friend. Very nice. That is our key. Let's just do that. Pisces. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Not a worry, we got Jupiter, <laughs> so we're just going to be farting around all over the place. And I'm actually going to play the Sacrifice Room for a little bit, because we got many hearts on this floor. It's going to be a bit of walking back and forth here, but that's okay. Let's just get hit three times. We have the Habit active from the look of things as well, so actually I should just be using that immediately. I'm gonna get both of those bone hearts and use that immediately as well. We know where our ultra secret room is and I genuinely don't know how to use this information. <laughs> Unless we had like a soul of Cain or a red key or something like that, which we do not. So, fair enough. There we are. Wow, okay. Coins. And another soul heart. Can we get an angel room item here? Nope, another soul heart. <laughs> um, we don't really need to kill the angels anymore because there's no purpose. I'm a little concerned about this. Okay, that worked out better than expected, if I'm being honest. A little regretful about the flames there, but fair enough. And a bunch of money, not bad. I think ultimately that was probably still positive, although the damage our little flames took there is probably not great. So, either yeah, this is a bit messy, I'd say. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that dollar bill. <laughs> I'm gonna get that dollar bill. Cause I'm feeling feeling like today's the day. At some point, surely we'll get it. I'm going all the way back because I don't want my flames to get destroyed by a potential fly, but... And I'm also just going to play this for a little bit, I guess. Maybe we'll get Skatol. Maybe we'll get Keys. Actually, also not a bad deal because we were a little low on that anyway. Maybe I should just move on. It is kind of nice to have money, I suppose, as well. Uh, did I...? I did. <laughs> Let's blow all this stuff up and then just move on. I think that's just gonna be the way it goes. Maybe we can buy some useful things at our remaining shops. We might still have restock. I'm actually not 100% sure. Um, I don't see it immediately, but quite frankly, there is a lot going on here. <laughs> oh no, we do have restock. It's in the outer ring. 
so is there anything here right greed also we have 50 percent off like the actual item so either way we're pretty much good regardless here yeah i'd say we're good to go <laughs> this run is certainly going i think prayer card car battery is just such a powerful combination with pretty much every character in the game this character is not unhappy with it either. The relic is just continuously giving us soul hearts. So that's wonderful. We're only gonna keep the relic for so long, but as long as the relic is still there, I'm very happy with it. Really didn't need to bomb this way. <laughs> I only have three bombs. I should be a little bit more careful with that, I suppose. Fortune cookie as well. Oh my god, like that certainly isn't bad either with car battery because you're so likely to at least get like a soul heart or something from it and with a low recharge rate as well it's very powerful but oh well yeah no well God, my tears are going up I <laughs> you can barely see where they're going but i promise you they're hitting the enemy and that's just gonna have to be good enough let's kill the mini boss here give me that dead cat and ruin my day Don't know what I lost. Very difficult to tell. <laughs> it is very difficult to tell. Capricorn, sure. Do we have Libra or something? No, we got Capricorn. Oh god, no. I was wondering if we got Libra because all our stats went up, but that's literally what Capricorn does, so. Yeah. Mild confusion over nothing. Slowly but surely losing our flames, but that's okay. Uh, that's Diplopia. That certainly is Diplopia. Uh, we are currently on Depths 1. That is four Soul Hearts. I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy, just buy both of these as well. And then I'm going to stop buying things, because I don't really care about any of this. But it's, uh, it's a bunch of shop items gone. That's good. We still have a 100% chance of Devil Deal Angel Room. Because of our things. I don't know where that bomb went. I don't care about what just happened there. <laughs> the lovers. The lovers. Sure. We appear to have gotten a key beggar as well. I can see forever, a little bit late. Forever. I'm so used to not picking up red hearts, and that's why you often see me just avoiding them when I really don't need to. But that's just me. I'm using the devil card immediately because I am so good at not using devil cards at all and saving them forever. And honestly, against this boss, don't hate it. I don't hate making this fight last as little time as possible. It's so difficult to tell where my tears are going right now. <laughs> uh, we'll get back to that. That's Genesis. That's not really worth diplopleying. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Um, let's just do that then. No idea what we got. It's okay. We are now entirely red. That's probably fine. We lost uh, Goathead, interestingly enough. That's not great. What can I purposefully use Diplopia on? On this floor? Perhaps nothing? Eh. I kind of want to keep the prayer card, I think, so... Oh, I can carry two things. I see. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'll just go like this. I mean, we gotta make sure we don't accidentally lose the backpack now. Which, well, <laughs> if that somehow doesn't happen, it'll be a miracle. But we only really need to go so far with this backpack at the end of the day. Uh, hopefully we still have the mind. We do, nice. So, hopefully we can just keep Diplopia until we have to use it somewhere. This is a... Oh god. I am destroying everything. <laughs> That's a little bit concerning. My tears are destroying rocks, I think. I think it is my tears. 
because it is happening from a distance. My damage is a little bit on the low side given what's going on around us right now. <laughs> this is actually taking a decent amount of time to kill anything. Ooh, I don't think two of these actually does anything. Uh, two of those will do something though. That's pretty much just conjoined, isn't it? Like it's close. Uh, I don't know. I think I'll just take them. Either way, having these is not going to be a problem, I would say. I think if I run in here, grab the coin, and then just go back again, I can just keep grabbing stuff without those rocks being a problem. Just need to re-enter the room over and over. Uh, let's actually see if there's a, there is even a shop or if it's just greed before we spend a long time trying to get coins that we can't spend. Well, the Parasite's making some interesting things happen, at least. In that my tears are never ending now. <laughs> but that's something. Uh, we got two bombs and 15 keys. Maybe I'll just use keys. Enemies are dying. Five random pills is honestly tempting because our pills are amazing, but I don't know. I forget how it works. That's a haunted chest. We've not seen that one before. There's a little ghost inside that then throws the chest at you. Gotta watch out for those with tainted loss. That'll, uh, <laughs> that'll be a trip. But yeah, it's a thing. I forget how, if Temperance gives you pills that are all not... No, it's gold pills. Gold pills give you pills that are not in your pill pool, but Temperance just gives you five pills that you eat. I'm confused. Uh, how using the book got rid of my backpack, apparently. That's inter That's irritating. <laughs> I just I looked for the right word. I went with interesting first, but then I changed my mind. Um, yeah. Shot speed down. Speed down. Retrovision. Lemon party and tears up. Well, okay, maybe not all my pills are good. <laughs> um. Okay, so I can take the full card and use diplopia in the room, and then come back and. Get my thing back. It, it, it'll work out either way. The parasite is causing problems that I wasn't anticipating. <laughs> nope. Just gonna get rid of that one immediately. Don't want to deal with it. Yeah, we are just destroying every single rock by shooting once. It's pretty great. And indeed, it is greed. That's a shame. That is a shame. Oh well. Let's move on. I'm not sure when. Yeah, it's not. It's not the Terra. It is sulfuric acid, I think, that's making the tears blow up rocks. So it only happens sometimes, but it, it's happening frequently enough, I'd say, for it to be noticeable. <laughs> Hold on. Plus, it just opens every secret room as well, so that's pretty great. Uh, let me... <laughs> let me get Diplopia real quick. Before I open up all those red chests. Because that could be interesting. Nope. Please just give me that teleport that I so desire. Come on. Come on. One more red chest to go. Nope. A lot of soul hearts, but not quite what I'm looking for, unfortunately. Don't like this. There went the flame. Not sure which one. <laughs> and I still need to find that fool card as well. We are going to the depths, right? Yeah. I say the depths as if that means the same thing as uh, the dark room. It starts with a D. It's roughly the same thing. I'm not sure if I've seen... Okay, I was going to say. I'm not sure if I've seen the rock with the, the skull with the, the, the X on it. But I think that has sufficiently answered my question. Do I still have sulfur? Yes. 
I just realized that bomb rock was right next to me as I was trying to blow up <laughs> that skull. <laughs> Worked out though. It's all good. Now we don't have to get a Devil Deal Ranger room. It would be nice. It would be nice. We did not get one, but we can do this. And that honestly puts me in a pretty good position as well. <laughs> now I have the Polaroid and the negative, and I have the best of both worlds. So all in all, not a bad deal. I'm just, ah, there's plenty of hearts on this floor. I'm just gonna get this. Do I have flight? I don't, I, I really cannot tell. Mm, I'm gonna assume the answer to that is no. That is good. That's always a trinket that I will take uh, to replace basically ever the trinket in the game, so fair enough. Let's move on. This is a weird run. It always it always ends up being weird with this character, I feel, but this is no exception. Mapping is nice for this floor. I took the world card in case we lose the mine, because I think it is uh, a book item right now. But there is a decent chance we're never going to use it. Come on. Blow up the bomb rocks. Or not. I guess that's fine. We're just going to go directly towards the end of this floor. No real reason to wait around. I'm not sure if we still have sulfuric acid. If we do. <laughs> The tear that was just shot, and indeed, the one that just destroyed the entryway, is a good indication that we do indeed still have that, so that's good. There we are. I really hope for a Delirium Portal, but if we don't get it, that's fine. But with Polaroid and Negative, like, we're in a pretty good spot, I feel. Uh, both offensively and defensively. And with the car battery as well, it's just it's just a nice nice place, nice thing to have. Good, good, it's good. Eh, not here. That's not a terrible boss. <laughs> with my current build, I'd say that build that boss is acceptable. We have destroyed a shopkeeper, so let's just do this. We still have the electricity when we're close to enemies. It's just very scary to be close to enemies ever. This boss I'm a little concerned about with my flames, but hopefully it's not going to be too bad. Yeah, we lost a couple. Lost uh, more than a couple. <laughs> That's a weird thing to get, but sure, I guess. Uh, I'll take the keys. Boop, boop, boop. Spirit of the Night. That's actually flight. And we are going down. We are going downwards. Yes. <laughs> Very good. We're doing all the right things so far. I'm curious what these remaining floors are going to bring. We have lost our mapping, so happy with this. Also, we have the uh, Soul of Bethlehem right now, or Star of Bethlehem or whatever. And that is going to be a pretty significant damage increase, I would say. As long as we can keep it. I'm honestly tempted to stay close to it just for the sake of keeping our flames alive as much as possible especially since there isn't much to this floor anyway Come on. we have curse of the maze <laughs> and we are now very far away from wherever it was so yeah so much for that i Really wish those tears would stop after a while. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is not that much I can do about that. Very good. Okay, there's a star. If anything, we'll have it during the boss. What is this? What are these tears? <laughs> Some kind of yellow tear effect going on. I'm genuinely not sure what that is. But I'll take it. I mean, shouldn't have waited that long, I think. Oh my god, okay, we're shooting explosions. <laughs> That's exciting. And as long as Star Bethlehem shield is active, we do have some shielding for our 
flames as well, so that's good. There's the delirium portal that I don't want yet. <laughs> Honestly tempting to just go through it now, uh, for the sake of at least getting that out of the way, but I apparently have made my choice not to do that. Knife. That's a tough one to say no to. That's a very tough one to say no to, actually. But at the same time, I feel like this build is currently working. Also with Delirium, I don't really like having the knife anyway. So I think I'm just gonna stick with uh, whatever this is <laughs> that's currently happening. <laughs> we don't have Curse of the Maze this time around, so that's good. We're just gonna hang out in the Star of Bethlehem. Hope for the best. Right into the secret room as well. Might as well give this one some things while we wait. Who needs keys anyway? Oh, that's a surprising end result to that one. <laughs> I guess I'll take it. It's not nothing. It's just not quite what I was looking for. I should not have started firing. Uh, scary. Don't like any enemy that explodes when it comes to keeping these flames alive, ultimately. <laughs> god. <laughs> oh no. Oh god, okay. Well, we're not taking damage somehow from whatever that was, but... I'm still a little concerned about it whenever it happens. We might have, like, bomb immunity or something going on right now, because... I don't see how we're avoiding this otherwise. Did we have perfection or something? I don't know. We did get marbles at one point, so maybe I just ate my drink or whatever it was. Yeah, I might have eaten my trinket there. We definitely don't have bomb immunity <laughs> anymore. <laughs> which is a little unfortunate. Because I am now taking damage in basically every room I enter because of whatever this bouncy nightmare is. <laughs> it's pretty good, but it's not quite ideal. There we are. Once again, took damage from something. And unfortunately, I keep taking damage just before the shield activates as well, so... It's a little messy, to say the least. This shouldn't... be too bad. We did it! <laughs> no. There is no delirium portal there, which is unfortunate. But we did... Clear the lamb. So either way, progress is made. I'm not sure if this is a great idea. It does create a nice green glow. I think, yeah, there is a red heart. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think I saw a red heart, but then it sort of disappeared on me. It's very hard to tell what is actually going on most of the time right now, but fair enough. I think I'm just gonna do the, I'm tempted to just do the boss actually, but. I should probably explore a little bit more. But it's not great for my health or my items, probably, which concerns me a bit. Jawbone. There we go. Theoretically, I could get items. They can technically drop if uh, things spawn. So that would be a fun sight for sure. Years. Oh, not terrible if we had a backpack. But as it stands, I'd rather have the health. Admittedly, the guaranteed flight is certainly not a bad option, but... Not quite what we're going for right now. Honestly, getting the red hearts is probably like worth it enough to be doing this. Uh, I'll take that trinket, because we don't actually have a trinket right now anyway. Do we go into our super secret room? I just noticed it on the map. It might have just showed up because of the cracked orb or something like that. But I'm not sure if I've actually entered it. And if it is the one with all the red hearts inside it, I'd like to visit those every single time I can. Because that is a lot of item charges that is ultimately rather useful. And yeah, we didn't. Good. Very nice. <laughs> Sometimes you get nothing. It is what it is. <sighs> I'd really like to get a Delirium Portal. Every time I reach this point and want a Delirium Portal and I just ask for it repeatedly, it does tend to happen. 
but then I'm also ignoring the runs where it's not happening. So there is, there is that tiny detail, I suppose. I'm just staying far away from all the enemies and just shooting wildly, and it's working out. Soul of Isaac might be interesting for basically anything, really, but I might just use it on the Devil Deals at the start of the floor. Maybe get something good out of this. <laughs> That's key. And we got it again. <laughs> and I forgot that it rerolls into just regular items, so it's not really that interesting, unfortunately. Yeah, well. We have done Mega Satan on every single character, so there's no purpose on uh, actually using Clicker <laughs> for the hope that we get something that we could use. But it's an, it would have been an interesting idea otherwise. Would have been a weird temptation, but one that could lead to potential. Blanket. Please give me one more chest. Please let me use this Soul of Isaac a whole bunch. I mean, it is a chest. There is Soul Hearts. No. I can make Soul Hearts, I guess. Ooh, that's okay. I also keep forgetting I have Polaroid. <laughs> it is a pretty important bit of information, ultimately. Because it is giving me a lot more shielding than just the trinket ultimately is giving me. Mm, let me keep you there for a moment. Ah, God. Let me hope for the best. That was uh, a poor choice. <laughs> Loki's horn. Nah, I don't know if I should bother with this. I feel like that's just a bad idea. Let's just go. Time to do a boss, I think. Time to do one Mega Satan. We have plenty of hearts, even with what we just spent there. Uh, especially with the active item that we have. So with that... Let us all hope for a Delirium Portal. I'm just going to keep using this Devil card until it stops reappearing because of this trinket. <laughs> there we go. Plus four damage, not bad. With Loki's horns as well. I think I said very recently that I wasn't super interested in it anymore, but... I think with this particular build, it just creates more chaos and that's just good. It just fills the room with even more tears, and that's probably a good thing right now. Come on. Angels. Not the most difficult for a Mega Satan fight I've ever had <laughs> with this character for sure. I feel like I've definitely struggled with it more in the past. I don't even know what's happening. I don't see any tears flying from Mega Satan. I also seem to have some kind of holy mantle somehow, which I guess I acquired from using the book a whole bunch. But I think the flames might just be blocking a whole bunch of the tears coming my way. Ah. Losing a couple of things here and there, unfortunately. This is what destroys the flames. I should probably... I'm trying to take damage when I'm failing at it. <laughs> oh, there you go. Can we get a Lyrian for him, please? Please, 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 please. Cool. I'm very happy that this keeps working out. Like, every time I just ask for a Delirium Portal, it just gives me one. And quite frankly, it's saving me a lot of time in the long run. Expansion pack? I forget what that even is. It's a trinket, I think. We still have uh, that, surprisingly enough. The old Star of Bethlehem. So we're just going to follow that around. Figure out which boss room we need to enter. Golden Ice Cube. That's exciting. Uh, <laughs> I assume it's just going to freeze a bunch of things, so I think that's just going to be useful to have around. I probably shouldn't be using the book so much anymore at this point, but I am. 
And we do seem to still have Spirit of the Night in some ways, so either way we're just flying around and might as well make the most use of that while we still have it. I shouldn't shoot so much, I think, because I'm temp I'm a little worried I'm going to crash the game soon. <laughs> With the amount of stuff that we're shooting around. But at the same time, it seems to be handling it. So, not too concerned, ultimately. But if I can just reach Delirium, then I think we're basically good, because... Uh, I think we just have so much health right now that I can just tank with Polaroid and then we should be good. I am hoping. That is the dream. It is a little far away, but it is Delirium, so it does often take a minute to actually reach it. Every room we're going through right now is just getting pretty much insta-cleared, which is also good. But I think the Star Bethlehem is helping out with that, with uh, making our damage go from... 11 to 16, our tier 8 from 1 to 3, like that is a pretty significant upgrade ultimately. Uh, very easy to... Let's just leave that room. <laughs> I think sometimes maybe the $3 bill effect is uh, causing some interesting things to happen as well, which I need to look out for. Plus we picked up Explosivo somewhere along the line as well, which is probably causing some extra explosions here and there. Virus? No. Stem cell tears up? Sure. Uh, probably doesn't do anything, that trinket, so let's just leave that. Our tears are now very green. Filled the entire room with creep. Very cool. But still just hanging out with our little friend, the star. That coin was surprisingly well hidden behind the log. I didn't actually know that anything could be behind that. But fair enough, I guess. Oh, don't like this. Those enemies got pretty damn close. Don't care for it. Such a mess of a build this is. <laughs> I haven't touched the attack button in a while. It's just bouncing so much every single time. Where did I go? Oh. Wait. I think this is good. I didn't realize we had Curse of the Maze, but I think this is still the direction where we're going anyway. So if we just wait here a while, we should see the Star Bethlehem again in a second here. Yes. Okay. If there is no boss of no delirium here, then I will probably just enter it real quick. Yeah. Just to see if we can get an extra item that way. Real nice and quick. I'm uh, not even going to pick it up. <laughs> Don't even care. That's a boss room. All right. One more tarot cloth. Sure. Hopefully not get Curse of the uh, Maze out of here, but it should hopefully work out. There is Valerium. I'm just going to shoot in a direction and hope for the best. We are dealing a lot of damage. <laughs> My god. <laughs> Look at that. Just gonna run into it. I'm really desperately trying to take a damage and it's just not happening. I was really trying to keep these flames alive by having the Polaroid activate, but good god, it just did not work out. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to matter much. Uh, it really does not seem to matter, matter at all. There we go. <laughs> Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I will happily take that. I will not even worry about that at all. What do we still have to do on this character? We could explore for a little bit. I'm actually just going to exit and continue. We got the book unlocked, so that's good. But in case the game crashes now, we don't have to do that anymore, and that's just neat. So that's good. But let's actually just have some more fun with this build. Our flame seems to have gotten a lot closer to us when I did the old exit and continue there, but fair enough. Maybe that's worth doing more often just in general, because I think this is a lot easier to protect than what we were working it with for basically the whole run, so... Hmm. Odd, I guess. Can we get that R key for once? It has happened before. I've seen the R key spawn from a boss on this plane of existence. Birthright? Sure. I forget what Birthright even does for this character. A 
apparently there's a boss at the top of this place. I guess Kurok Dorb is still occasionally showing us where we need to go. That's nice. Yeah, any one of those rooms where you just suddenly lose a bunch of flames, it's, it's a little unfortunate, but I think at this point, it's probably okay. <laughs> I miss the Star Bethlehem, though. It clearly is a pretty important part of our tier 8, but at the same time, we are filling the entire room with the smallest tiers in the world and just destroying everything with it afterwards, so it doesn't matter too much. Cool. Damage. A pointy rib. We have, like, a Spelunko hat or something, because we are seeing rooms that are pretty far away from us a lot of the time. That might be what's going on there. Uh, crooked Penny, pretty fun. But let's not, <laughs> unless we have something to re-roll. Yeah, we almost certainly have... Oh, these are not our friends, that sucks. I was kind of hoping the Fireflies would still be our friends, but they're not. I was kind of hoping we'd find our secret room with Spelunker Hat, and hopefully we do before it just sort of gets destroyed, but we'll see. We don't necessarily have to kill Mother on this run, but it would be a nice bonus. I don't know how many bosses show up on this floor, and maybe at some point I should read it, but I think it's a range. I assume it's a range, at least. I'm not 100% certain. Mr. Boom? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Ah, well. Either way, I'd, I'd call this run uh, decent progress. With a character that is probably one of the easier ones in the game, usually, and this run was absolutely no exception to that rule. <laughs> Because of the big messes you can create. We did just get a lot of health as well, but quite frankly, I, I, I just feel like we got a lot of good stuff again. Like, even without the actual book itself, we just ended up with items that were all not terrible, so... It wasn't seemingly that much that could go wrong regardless, but... Then using Diplopia to get both Polaroid and Negative certainly did help out for the sake of feeling safe during the delirium boss fight so either way it all it's all good isn't it it's all just working out swimmingly it's such a big floor and i feel like we've already killed all the bosses which concerns me a little oh yeah speed god our movement speed's terrible i didn't even notice <laughs> how bad our movement speed actually is I also didn't know Socks was a gold chest item. I thought it was a secret room item, but fair enough. Do we have Chaos, maybe? Hmm, we might have Chaos, because that's a secret room item for sure. Yep. Let's get that dollar bill. <laughs> uh, I mean, 99 coins, why not, right? Thanks, Delirium. We have a $3 bill in our flames, so that's cool. We at least have something along the lines of a dollar bill currently. I'm hoping that will give us the extra luck required, but no. But no, unfortunately not. It was not to be. I think we lost our Spelunker hat somewhere along the line, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, we definitely did, because we're not exploring those rooms pretty far ahead anymore. That's a shame, because I'd like to find my secret room as well. And I feel like the odds of me finding it are just a little low with no way to help out, unfortunately. Still gonna look for it, obviously, but... The odds don't feel like they're in my favor. I'd love a reroll as well, but I don't think we have got any of those going on currently. Anything like that would be wonderful. Just re-roll into an R key, quickly destroy Mother and have another completed tainted character. That would be ideal, but... Huh. That works. Judgment. My favorite judgment as well. Because it works with the Polaroid, and that means I can spend a long time giving hearts without costing a lot of my very important money. 
Shouldn't have picked that up immediately, because if there was a reroll way, like thing I could do, then <laughs> would have worked out. The cracked orb actually ended up telling us where the super secret room is, so that is certainly going to save us a lot of time, because I was not going to look in this room. I can almost guarantee with certainty that this was not going to be a room that was going to get explored uh, for those purposes, so fair enough. But yeah, wasn't it didn't happen. That's okay. Pop. Cricket's body. Latch key, member card, punching bag, torn photo, little Steven, E. coli. Let's see if we can just crash the game once before we end this run. Because <laughs> quite frankly, with Cricket's body in there as well, I feel like the odds are in my favor. It's a lot of tears. I'm surprised how well it's handling it, honestly. And yeah, this this would make it a little bit more motivating to perhaps go through the rest of the floor before fighting Delirium, because this is just this is just a lot happening right now, isn't it? <laughs> but I, I'd say it all worked out in the end. I'm just happy to be done with it. Didn't even crash the game. The build wasn't even that impressive when you really think about it. So yeah, fair enough. That is Bethany almost completed, so definitely not too bothered about that. Did not expect Delirium. Didn't know that she needed Delirium still, actually, but that ended up working out. <laughs> so, very good. Happy that I went for Mega Satan there in the end. And, uh, yeah. Getting them. Getting pretty darn close now, except with Magdalene for some reason. I actually just need to play that character more, because even Tainted Lost, I think, is further than Magdalene right now. So, uh, yeah, maybe that... maybe tomorrow. Either way, hope y'all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we'll be doing another run with a different character, and I hope to see y'all there. Bye-bye. <laughs>